Hello and welcome to Excel Essentials. In this session, we'll be covering the index match formula to look up values which works across any version of Excel. So we're going to have a look at how to use the index match formula. And to do that, we need to have some data where we can do lookup values against. So here we have an example of some HR data. And here we have our index match sheet where we have a table in Excel with all the employees names on the left hand side that we want to look up against this HR data. And as you see, we need to find the grade, the manager, the department and the email. So let's start off with looking for an employee's grade. So we're going to do equals index and we're going to open the bracket. Now here is where we'll put the result that we are looking for. So if we go to HR data and then we go to grade, we're going to select all of column F. Then we're going to hit comma and we're going to type the match formula. Then we're going to select the value we want to search and that's going to be the employee name on that row. And then we're going to hit comma and then we're going to look and select where we want to look up that value and because it's an employee's name we expect to find them in the employee name column in column a so we select all of column a and then we hit comma and then we choose zero for an exact match and then we close one bracket then we close second and we hit enter and because it's a table it fills down the formula automatically for us but as you may see there are a couple which are not found and have any written against them now here you can clean it up with an if na formula so to do that you will need to wrap your existing formula in an if na so you'll put that at the start with a bracket then you'll leave your formula as it is and come all the way to the end. Then you'd hit comma and then you'd put in a value you'd want it to show when values aren't found. So in this case, we want it to show employee not found. So we'd put that in speech marks and close that formula off and hit enter. And as we see, it now auto fills down and those where employees were not found now have that marking against them rather than hashtag NA. Now let's try that automatically for the manager column and let's use the if NA function element too. So we'll start off with equals if NA, then we're going to do index and we're looking for a manager. So we'll select column G, then we'll type in match and then we'll look up the value. So here we would select our employee's name. Then we would select the employee column. And then we'll put zero, put two closing brackets, and then employee not found. And then we'll wrap that off. Now let's do the same for department, just as index match. So we'll do index then we would select the department then we'll type in match and we would select our employee name then we would select the employee name column and then we'll put in zero and double close that off and now we have the department all found for everyone and obviously those where we know it won't be found because they're not employees found in the HR data they will have the hashtag NA but we can get rid of that as well with the if NA formula now let's try it with email and we'll put the if NA piece back in so we'll do if NA then we'll do index we're now looking for the employees email then we'll type in match. Then we'll look up for the employee's name. And then we'll look up their name in the employee name column. And then we'll put a zero, two closing brackets, then a comma, and then put employee not found. And there we go. We've now retrieved all the employee's email addresses for those that are currently working within the company.
Now, a bonus use case, you can also use index match horizontally the same way as XLOOKUP. And let's say we want to find the information about myself. Here, we could use the index match formula to fill in the email, base location, and manager. So here, we'll type in index. Then we'll select the email row. Then we'll type in match. And here we'll select where my name is. So that will be in cell B11. And then we'll click on the row where employees' names are found. And then we'll put zero and close that off. And there we go. We've got the email sorted. Now, base location we know is on row two. So we could copy the formula for ease of use and then just paste it in, changing row three to row two for the base location. And as you see, it returns United Kingdom. And then for the manager, we can then return row seven instead of row three. So we'll do that. And as we see, it's now returned that. If I was to change this to Denali Nilsson, we can now see it's updated with Denali's information. Let's try Zayden Coleman. And now we have Zayden's information instead. Even if Zayden's location changes, let's say to Mexico, that also updates here dynamically too. Stay tuned for more Excel Essentials. <music>